Hi, I'm Emily Platzer with the Boulder Library Makerspace, Building 61. Today, we're gonna solder. We will be making a little circuit. You can see that this is made out of copper tape, one LED, and we'll also need a battery. To make it work. To make it work. The materials we'll need for this project are a small piece of cardboard, some copper tape, an LED, and a CR2032 battery. The tools that we'll be using for this project is a soldering iron, I like to use mine with a wet sponge, some needle nose pliers, and some solder. Optionally, you can use a clip just to secure the battery. We'll start by cutting our cardboard. This just is a little plate that you can work on. Next, we'll cut a couple of strips of the copper tape. This is not conductive on both sides. It's only conductive on the upper surface. There are some copper tapes that conduct on both the upper surface and the lower surface, which is sticky, but we're assuming that you don't have the double conductive. Most of it is only conductive on one side. We're gonna cut one, two, three, and then this little fourth piece of copper. One, two, three, and four. So three pieces are close to the same size and one is a little bit shorter. Now we'll go ahead and peel it and stick it to the cardboard. The first two pieces are just stuck right to the cardboard. This third piece is a little bit special. It folds under on both sides and it still has a little bit of that adhesive backing in the middle. So let's show you how that's done. Peel about a square worth um, of that tape. We'll cut that and then fold that right over. We'll do the same to the other side making sure it's still gonna fit. Again, about a square and fold it over. So now the electricity can flow all the way around. Not here yet. Now we're gonna tape this down with our last little piece. And this won't end up conducting electricity very much. It's just to keep that switch in place. This will be both a switch and the connector to the battery. The last thing we're gonna do is get this ready to solder. What we're gonna do is coil the ends and make them flat. Remember to leave a little bit of space because there's some space in between here. So we'll just need to coil that a little bit shorter or a little bit less using a little bit less of the wire. Probably like so. Just making sure that we can solder it. This looks like a little 
and it's not quite gonna reach so I'll make it a little bit wider and that looks good and it sits up which is great makes it a lot easier to solder Now we're gonna solder the LED legs to the copper tape. I like to keep my soldering iron uh, close to me with a wet sponge and I will gently wipe the tip to clean it to make sure it's nice and shiny. If you have a dull looking tip, it's just not going to conduct heat as well. Here is our solder. A lot of solder has lead in it, so any time that you're working with solder, it's just a good habit to consider your hands dirty until you wash them very thoroughly. So don't eat while you solder. Um, and just wash your hands before when you're done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch part of that metal. We're gonna get it really super hot. Once you've touched it for a little while or for a few seconds, you're gonna go underneath and add a nice bead of solder and let go. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my tip again, that extra solder off of there. And now this is stuck pretty well. And we'll turn it and we'll do the other side. So once again, we'll heat up some of that wire and after a few seconds, go underneath and just use a nice amount of solder. And then we'll clean our tip again before we put it in the stand. Now our area to solder here is really huge. We don't have to worry too much about getting solder everywhere or jumping, uh, making an accidental bridge here. But on something like a proto board, or on a component, there's not a lot of space here. You could easily ac accidentally put solder that jumps across these sections. Now, it's not as hard as you might think because these little points get uh, very hot very quickly and these spaces in between don't get quite as hot. So the solder is really gonna wanna stick there, but it's still something you wanna keep in mind. Now we have our finished circuit. We just need to supply electricity. I didn't pay attention to which leg was longer or shorter. Did you? With an LED, it's only gonna turn on if the electricity is supplied in the correct direction. With a proper battery, you're not gonna mess up the LED, so we don't have to worry too much about getting it backwards. You can see that the light is not illuminating. That means this circuit is a mirror image to that circuit. The LEDs are going in the opposite way. So we just flip our battery and now we have illuminated that light. And just to show you, if we put in the battery the same way here, it's not gonna turn on because this LED is sitting the opposite way from this other battery. For LEDs, this is no problem. Just flip the battery. Here's our completed circuit. I secured the battery with a little clip. You could do this with tape too. 